Stephen's infatuation of Susan was very unnerving. You would think that Joshua would take real issue with that. And it seems like he didn't. He did not set the bound. Images of incestuous pornography found in Josh's possession prompted the judge to mandate a psychosexual evaluation. A person who is mandated to take a psychosexual evaluation, if there isn't any issues there and if everything seems to be pretty quote unquote normal, the average person typically doesn't get upset or mad about that. In this case with Josh, he may have had some sexual experiences in the past that maybe he didn't want to be revealed and also even the intimate details of his own intimacy with his wife. I absolutely believe that he could have been capable of taking her life due to the fact that she shut down the advances that he made towards her at different points while they were living. And with Joshua, in his case, it's fair to say that not only rage and jealousy was a huge deal for him, but I also believe that his grandiose sense of self was really big. I believe that he thought that he was more important, better than so many other people, and that pushed him to not only kill himself, but also kill his children. Users typically want to be in control. And when they want to be in control, that means they want to do anything possible in order to control the situation. And that means all parties involved. There can be other forms of abuse, which I've seen very prevalent in this case. There was emotional abuse. There was financial abuse. There was also some spiritual manipulation as well.